Welcome back and ting and ting and ting. I'm Mr. Giant and I'm back with some more vibes for all you. Know, this one we're going to watch is called the Canadian Culture and Traditions. You know, I'm going to watch this. I want to see what the traditions and uh, the, you know, what the culture is like there. You know, I've done a lot of Canadian videos and I'm going to keep uh, watching them. You know what I mean and ting. But uh, I thank you all for commenting. Thank you so much for all the suggestions of videos to react to. Uh, please remember that there is a an email address in the description. Send all your uh, suggestions for videos to for me to watch to that email address. That way I could get your names and I could shout you out. You know, whenever I, uh, I watch the video, you know what I mean. And uh, thanks for the comments too, man. I love speaking to you guys there. You know, I try to respond to every single comment I have. You know what I mean that I get. So and it's kind of cool, you know, because. It kind of, you know what it reminds me of really? It reminds me of when I had pen pals when I was in high school or back on the island. Yeah, you know, it reminds me of having pen pals, you know, waiting for that, uh, that letter to come from England or Sweden or Russia or Germany or wherever the pen pal was just sitting there. Even from South America, you know, learn a little Spanish while, you know, while that vibe is going on and think, but you know, eager to learn, you know what I mean? about that culture and all of that, you know, and hopefully this is what I'm I'm trying to portray here. You understand what me I say a thing? But I ain't gonna keep it all too long and thing here. We're gonna go ahead and check out the Canadian culture and traditions. Let's YouTube and Sim Sim. You know, the one thing I've noticed about uh, watching Canadian videos that is different, and I mean, than here, especially where I am, there's a lot more color there. There's an emphasis on color there, you know, things are more colorful. Like where I live here, the buildings are just drab, brick, you know, that maroonish kind of color, you know what I mean? The, uh, the building I live in is a bright blue color, and it's the only bright color for blocks on where I live, and this is the downtown area. Uh, there's a little area down there called uh, Pullman Square, and you know it's relatively new. It's kind of colorful there, but generally speaking, it's kind of a kind of drab. <laughs> I mean, there's not a whole lot of color. Now, uh, granted, you know, these are sort of like uh, videos, and they're going to show certain areas. We do it in the island too, but. There's more color, you know what I mean? And I think more color means happier people. I think more color means laid back people. Because, you know, in the Caribbean, it's colorful, people are laid back and they're happier. You know, like here, I'll be honest, and I'll be dead, dead honest here. Where I live, people aren't very, they're not happy all the time, man. You know, it's like, it's just like total anger depression you know it rains here everybody's talking about the depression you know what i mean it's, it's just it's different let's keep going peoples also maintain their own distinctive cultures particularly in the north and immigrants have both integrated into canadian daily life and continue to maintain some unique elements of their ancestral homelands 
Still, the country unites to celebrate Canada Day, July 1st, which commemorates the formation of the country in 1867. As a multicultural country, Canada has many exciting festivals and cultural attractions that take place throughout the year. If you are new to Canada or a particular province, there are many ways of finding out where the latest activities are taking place. Have a look in your local newspaper, do your research online and listen to the radio for updated information. Your neighbors and local community centers can also be a great source of information. Etiquette and Customs Canadians are generally polite, tolerant, and relatively informal. As with any large country, there is a great amount of variation in customs and etiquette from one region to the next. The most obvious difference is in the province of Quebec, which has more French influence than the British. As a result, it is not uncommon for people to greet each other by kissing each other's cheeks, left and right, rather than the handshake popular in the rest of the country. Canadians are generally very polite, and it is important to remember your manners if you want to get on well with people. If you are dining... Are you, and I'll tell you something. Where I am here, and I'm not speaking for the rest of the country, where politeness is just considered weakness, man. Like, if you're really nice, or you you, you you strive to not just strive, but you, you you are a good person. They consider you weak. And if you're a man, <laughs> you gonna stay single. <laughs> I I, never, I mean, I laugh when I see that, but that's the absolute truth. If you if you like really nice to people and you respect them, you gonna stay single. And uh, let me emphasize this, it's especially where I am. They say, oh, you're nice, and then they proceed to be your best friend, you know what I mean? Now, if you're like warrior-like and her, her, you know, then, hey, man, they consider that sexy, you know? You know, all the women are following you around, even though you're going to treat them like crap, you know what I mean? I was talking to an older gentleman uh, yesterday at, at the work, an older co-worker, and he's like, I don't understand it. He's saying that, I don't understand it, you know? Nice people just get crapped on there, yeah. and I'm and I'm speaking for where I live. You know what I mean? Granted, I've traveled to other parts of the country, but you know, I, I've spent most of my time where I am, and you know, like, that's my experience here. You know what I mean? And I'm not bashing per se. If you ask people who live here, they'll tell you the same thing. You know what I mean? And I've lived here long enough to have an opinion. With locals, then table manners are fairly informal and you need not worry about refusing particular dishes or asking questions about the food. Do make sure to say please and thank you. If you are invited to someone's home for a meal, it is considered polite to bring a small gift such as a bottle of wine or some chocolates. Religion The range of religions practiced in Canada is as diverse as its inhabitants, and freedom of religion is a constitutionally protected right. Christianity is the most prevalent, with around 65% of the population as adherents. Atheism has also been increasing steadily in recent decades, and around 24% of Canadians now state that they have no religious affiliation. Multiculturalism and Diversity Historically, Canada began developing into a strong nation by welcoming immigrants. Today, it continues to value the richness and diversity that various cultures contribute to society. In 1971, Canada became the first country in the world to adopt multiculturalism as an official policy. This affirmed people's rights to maintain their unique cultural identity and promoting cross-cultural understanding and harmony. Natural Wonders in Canada Incredible natural wonders in Canada that will take your breath away. From epic Virginia Falls to the ancient Great Bear Rainforest, there are must-see spots dotted all across the country, from Nova Scotia to British Columbia. Canada is home to some vibrant cities and some wonderful man-made attractions, but what sets Canada apart from other destinations are its natural wonders. Anyone that has been on Canada holidays will have had their breath taken away from just looking at the raw beauty that Talking about Canada holidays, one of my co-workers, and I actually worked there for a while, but I met her for the first time a couple of days ago, come to find out her mom is Canadian. So after watching all these videos, we've been going backward and forth, back and forth talking about it. 
and she's actually uh, in a, a few a, a few weeks is going to go to I think she said Manitoba. Uh, that's where her mom is from for a vacation, and she said she's been up there about eight times. And that dish that uh, that uh, in one of the videos that I was like, what is that? God, it starts in a P. I keep forgetting how to pronounce it, but you all will know what I'm talking. The one with the the fries and the cheese and the hot gravy, which I'm gonna try to make that myself. And if I do make it, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to eat it and show what it did, how how it come out on here. But yeah, she was telling me that uh, I think it's in about two or three weeks she's gonna be going up there to hang out and stuff like that. And as a matter of fact, one of my nephews put that he went over to Canada to uh, go to some casinos that are close to Detroit there because they live in Detroit. So you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of uh, people visiting and coming and going and thinking. It's, it's funny that I'm watching all these uh, Canadian videos and then I met this kid and then we, and it is a kid, she, you know, she's like young, she's in high school and we were just going back and forth talking about Canadian stuff, you know. It's in, you know, small world, huh? The country offers. From cascading waterfalls to dancing lights in the sky, there are so many natural attractions which you can enjoy in Canada. Festivals of Canada. Canada is truly a multicultural and secular country with people of different ethnic groups cohesively living together, participating in different festivities of colors, light, music, culture, and celebrating the oneness of life. It is the home to some of the biggest carnivals that celebrate both traditions and life, making it a must for a traveler to be a part of at least some of the festivals of Canada. Relocating to Canada. At least in part, to the country's welcoming attitude towards immigrants, Canada is becoming an increasingly popular destination for people looking to relocate. If you are thinking of moving to Canada, here are a few things that you might want to consider. You should be aware that the cost of living in Canada is higher than in most of the rest of the world. Property prices in major urban centers such as Vancouver and Toronto average are currently amongst some of the highest in the Western world. The price of groceries may also be higher than you might think due to the fact that Canada relies heavily on imports, and the same is true of petrol and alcohol, which are both heavily taxed. Although Canada generally welcomes immigrants, you still need to go through the correct process before coming to ensure that you are residing in the country legally. Be prepared for this process to be time-consuming, as it is not uncommon for it to take six months in between completing your application and receiving a response. Yep, yep. I wanna, you know, because I wanna do some traveling there. I wonder what it's gonna be like to the, the visa situation to get to there. I am, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to start looking into that because, you know, it's coming to that time, boy. I'm getting restless. I need to start doing some traveling soon or I'm gonna go store crazy. You know, this year place to take, you know what I mean? Hey, y'all, thank you all for watching this with me, man. That was quite interesting, quite interesting. And uh, I'm gonna watch more on culture too. You know what I mean? Along with the history, and you know, I, I just really want to enjoy what I'm doing here. You know what I mean? And uh, people tell me we'll stick with a, a niche and stuff like that. I just want to enjoy it. You know what I mean? Uh, sit here and watch some videos on culture, on history, and all of that. That's how you. That's how I am gonna get to understand the world. And hopefully, while watching it with me, you will get to understand the world. You know, because I'm gonna watch stuff from all over the world on here. You know what I mean? Not just specific places, because I think it's important that we all watch stuff about each other, try to understand each other. You know what I mean? It seems like when we had less technology, like YouTube and and uh, all these uh, all this stuff, we were more interested in each other. I don't know if it was a mystery of not knowing, but now that we have the capability of knowing, we just don't seem interested anymore as much, you know? And I know there are people who are interested, but it's not like, as a, you know, you don't hear kids sit around talking about, oh man, I wonder what it's like in France, you know? I wonder what it's like in Germany. I wonder what, you don't hear kids talking about that anymore, you know what I mean? And uh, hopefully we could use uh, some of this year to foster that sort of uh, interest in each other. You understand what we're saying thing anyway i'll leave a link in the description to this video go check it out they seem to have different uh things there i see they have uh, on here uh, the world most visited cities dubai you know la guerra 
best known for white wine ooh and volcanic landscape white wines ooh <laughs> anyway man thank you all for watching this with me please please take care of each other all right cool runnings